Hey, Sam's Sister Anthony Rose. We've got some awesome advanced two-step patterns for you guys today. We like this one a lot. Ladies, if you love to spin, this is your pattern. This is the one you want to you watch. So stick around. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love Tell me if I'm wrong Cause it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Come on, come on, come on, come on Come on, come on uh. Guys, we love country dance. We love all of the country dances from two-step to West Coast swing, country swing, waltz, all that stuff. Yes. But two-step will always, always be king. And that's why we love teaching it so much. Now, if love you're brand it. new here at the channel, like I said, we post all of the different country dances, but you're gonna notice this little link down here and it says subscribe. Now, if you click that button, then you become an ex-dancer and you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens here on the channel. So we're gonna demonstrate it and then we're gonna break it down. All right, guys, we're gonna show you what you agreed to when you clicked on our video. All right, guys, so we've got two very, very different parts here. The followers part, the leaders part. If you haven't already guessed, the followers part is like spin. Like yes. that you're going to do that and he's going to do stuff with his hands. He's just going to walk along. Here's the idea. He walks and she spins. That's like <laughs> the nature of two yeah, steps. So let me show you how this works. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start in a closed position and we're going to dance her for quick, quick, slow, taking her to the outside on that second slow. We're going to use that rotation of going to the outside to then turn her over her head straight into a sweetheart for quick, quick, slow. And on that second slow, we're going to back her up, have her over rotated like as a prep. So we'll show you that again from this side. We have quick, quick, slow to the outside quick, quick, slow, and then an over rotation. Now it's really important in this pattern as well as all patterns that whoever's on the inside, in this case, that's a leader, is slightly behind the person on the outside, okay? So if we were in this alignment, sweetheart, I need to be a little bit here. So I can't be here because what's gonna happen next is I'm gonna be turning here and it's harder to turn her this way than it is out here in front, okay? So now we've gotten to this position where she's forward and now we're gonna give her two turns with the right hand over the head. So we're gonna go one, two, and at the end of that second one, we bring the hand down, and then this hand's gonna present itself, okay? So we've gotta bring that hand down after that second turn in order to have access to that second hand. So we're gonna go one, two, and we ask for that hand so that we can turn her over, over top with that hand. Let me show you that close up. All right, guys, so we're in this position and we open up and we prep her for that second slow. Now, this right hand's gonna go over top. I'm gonna let go of that left hand. It's gonna come over top once, it's gonna come over top twice. And as I bring it over the second time, I'm gonna start bringing the arm down so that this hand is available and then I can actually turn her overhead with that hand. All right, so, so far we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. There's our sweetheart with the prep. And now it's all quick. So it's gonna be quick, 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 quick. And then we're gonna continue on and we're off to the races. Now, so, we're gonna do this two sets of times, which means that we're gonna to have to bring the hand down, switch the hands, but then we've gotta catch the other hand back because we've released it. So we'll show you that from this side, we're in this position, we're bringing that hand over once, twice, and then it comes down, I'm gonna catch that hand. Now I'm gonna bring this hand over top, but as I bring this hand over top, I'm looking underneath for that opposite hand, which is across her chest, so that then I can bring that hand over top and re repeat the process again. All right guys, we've talked about this in so many other videos, but one thing that you've got to make sure is that when you're turning followers, like you're gonna use what we call guard the girls. If I'm turning you with this one. hand, what do we do with that one? It can't hang down to your side, but we're gonna guard the girls, okay? So from your wrist to your elbow, this is gonna be parallel to the ground and it's across the front of your chest. Your hand is essentially here because that's gonna give me access to it. If you put it down to your side or on your hip or all this goofy stuff that people do, I'm never ever going to be able to do this. So if we're in this position, I'm gonna be turning her with her um, right hand. It's gonna come over top. Now that left arm goes into guard the girls so that when I bring this hand down, I know exactly where that hand's going to be and I can find it. Now, when we repeat that, this other arm goes into guard the girls because the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that underneath because I know exactly, I should never ever have to find the arm. So if we watch that again from this side, we're here. 
Her left arm's gonna go in to guard the girls. I know exactly where it's going to be. I find it. Now her right arm is in guard the girls. Her left arm goes back to guard the girls. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about something real quick because a lot of times what we try to do and what we teach on this channel and in xdance.com is we try to teach things that are actually leadable. Like someone yeah. could lead it, someone would fall. Like if I've never danced with a person, maybe she hasn't learned that pattern, but I could still lead her through it. But I think there are three different levels. Yes, I can lead it. Yes, I can lead it if and no, I can't lead it. Those are the three things. Just yes, dance. I can lead it is just pretty much like I'm communicating to her along the way. She doesn't have to know a whole lot. The yes, I can lead it if is assuming certain things are going to happen. Like she has been trained to put her arm across her chest. You know, the little things like if I'm in dance position and I'm here and if she puts her arm on the outside like some people do, I'm not gonna lead something that turns her really quick because I know her arm is going to get stuck in that position. Having her arm across the chest is one of those, if she does that, then yes, I can lead it. And there's certain other things that like, no, I can't lead it. He has to know it, she has to know because it's more choreography. We try not to do that stuff. So this is one of those, yes, I can lead it if. She doesn't if, have to necessarily know the pattern. No, she, she doesn't. She just has to have fundamentals. She has to have fundamentals. So you have to have the little things. The little things are actually the big things is what we're saying. So. If we do that again from the turn, we'll step quick, quick, slow, slow. Now, if her arm goes into guard the girls, then yes, I can lead it, even if she's never danced it before, because all I'm doing is this, and I know at that point her hand is gonna be there. If her arm goes across her chest again, I know that I can lead that again as many times as I want. Okay, so let's get into the ending of this. We, we've taught this in other, uh, I think in another pattern. I really like this one. Um, but if we get into this position where we're in like a sweetheart, um, or we can do this from a bow tie, before a bow tie, whichever one, from this position, all we're gonna do is now, instead of turning her with the right hand and releasing the left, all I'm gonna be doing is keeping that hand and placing it basically into her armpit, which sounds very pleasant. But we're, we're gonna bring this hand over the head and that hand goes to the armpit. And then from there, I'm gonna basically bring this hand over head. I'm gonna turn her with that arm now with the left hand and then slide down till I catch her hand and do you know, whatever strike a pose, pose whatever you, you pose. want to do at that happy. point, okay? Yeah. But from that point, obviously, that's just like a check pattern where we could be here, a whip pattern, and we can do whatever is next, okay? Let me show you that part close up. All right, so we finished in this position. We're gonna take that right hand over top. You notice my left hand goes really high and I turn the hand over. I'm actually starting to reach for upper, I'm right around her armpit. From this point, right as that hand goes over top of her head, I'm gonna release it. I've got her arm, she ducks underneath, and then we can stretch that out. Now, one thing you gotta know here is there are multiple different variations of this. This is probably the simplest one, but it is just a whole bunch of quicks until it finishes with a slow, okay? It is basically just quick, 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 slow. So we've kind of taught you the beginning part and we kind of taught you the end part. Now we're gonna show you how to link the two of them together, okay? So if we start this from the beginning, we'll step quick, quick, slow, slow quick quick slow slow now we got a whole bunch of quicks and a whole bunch of turns okay so it's going to come once twice down over it's going to go once twice down there now we've gotten into the sweetheart position okay this is where we add on to that last part where we're gonna be turning her and sending her through. Now the tricky thing is, is she's not gonna slow down and wait for you to get into that position because you've gotta practice those things separately, but then start linking them together. So if we did this really slow in the other direction, it'll be, let's we'll just start with a turn. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Whole bunch of turns. And now we're in this position and then we send her back through okay so my suggestion is to practice the first parts practice the second parts do them all slowly like in super slow yeah. motion so you can the start linking them together can be tricky so do that slow yeah i mean when we first started doing this it was it was a whole lot of <laughs> like i can't catch things. the things you know even for <laughs> no. us so practice that slow so guys we appreciate you guys watching if you guys have any questions if you try this and you need help with it just comment down below we respond we read and respond to every single comment we yes. get. Now we're gonna show Say you hi. guys this to music a couple times and then we'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, if you're looking for what to do next, click that link right there. That is xdance.com. Check that out. We'll give you a free month of that. Or if you just like to stay here on YouTube, there's a cool video. Watch that one. Am I out of my mind?
Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love uh, So just tell me if I'm wrong But it feels 